Hey folks, welcome to another numeracy video. In this video, we're going to be looking at dividing integers in context. So without further ado, let's get started. Now, if you've been following this series, you know that I've been obsessed with uh, temperatures uh, for particularly the integer questions. Um, and I thought I'd do something different, but like I couldn't, I, I really struggled to find like nice dividing numbers in the end i just gave up but anyway these are the questions we're going to try and go through them um, one at a time so the first question what we've got here folks is each time you download a movie your account decreases by minus eight degrees i might see it. <laughs> minus eight degrees minus eight dollars this is what happens when you've been working with temperatures for so long and you decide to record four videos at the same time all right so we're losing minus uh so we're losing eight dollars every time we download a movie and if the total decrease in your account is minus 40 at the end of the month, not minus 40, if it's decreased, then we say that it's going to be negative 40. So we want to figure out how many movies did you download. So negative 40 divided by negative 8 is equal to um, 5. Now you might be sitting there thinking, hang on, what's the difference between doing this and 40 over 8? Because if you think about it, you spend... Uh, your account shows that you spent 40 bucks and each of those movies cost $8, then you'd go, yeah, 40 divided by 8 is equal to 5. So either way you do it, you're still going to get um, get the answer of um, $5. Um, sorry, not five, five, five movies. It's something that we need to be aware of with, um, with maths is that, you know, when, uh, like, you can actually say decreasing by 5 and then use the positive number to do your calculations or if you say decreasing by five then you'd go negative five um, and then you would actually include that in the calculation and i know that right now it might feel a bit like oh, hang on a minute what's happening here but as you do more of these problems um, they will uh, they will start to make sense all right let's look at question two uh, question two i'm going to do it like what if it's just like a normal integer right because if you think about it uh, what is it coffee account decreases by three dollars every time you buy a coffee uh, total decrease is $15, so you would actually go 15 divided by 3, which means you've actually had 5 cups of coffee. And as you can see, both answers, I mean, when I say both, the way in which you write the questions, they're going to come up with the same answer. Now, if I had done negative 15 divided by negative 3, let's check this out, negative 15 divided by negative 3, that's still going to give me positive 5. So kind of doesn't really matter but um you know it's just to be aware of uh last three questions um, as usual i'll pause and give you some time for you to have a go with these questions and uh, we'll go through them yeah it's a long enough pause all right so question three we've got account decreases by six dollars every time you order food delivery so that's negative six uh account is at negative 54 at the end of the month so we've got negative 54 divided by negative 6, which means uh, there were nine times um, food was ordered. Or food delivery. There we go. Uh, question four. Um, account decreases by $10. Total decrease in your account is 50. Uh, we can do it the other way. So we're going to go 50 divided by 10, which gives us uh, five uh, rides on the roller coaster. And finally, the last question, uh, gaming app, your account decreases by a dollar. The total decrease is $15. So we're going to go uh, minus $1, minus 15 is at the end of the month or week, divided by minus 1, um, which means played 15 games. I tried looking online for a different type of division integer questions, and I, and I, and I really struggled. So if you folks have some questions, uh, flick it to any of my socials or my email. Uh, and I'm happy to actually go through them. All right, folks, that is basically it for this video. As always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, and subscribe to keep up with the latest content. Now, there should be a couple of playlists popping up here and here. Great material for revision. And as always, thank you for watching.